The Honorable Swar. Thank you. Thank you, House Chair. House Chair, the ACDP shares the concerns with the state of ESCOM. And if that, if the load shedding crisis isn't bad enough on its own, the dysfunctionality at Transnet undermines economic growth, with some estimates that Transnet's logistical problems are costing the country a staggering 1 billion rand per day. Honorable Deputy Minister, going forward, are you of the view that the involvement of the private sector will assist matters at Transnet together with the appointment of Transnet veteran Michelle Phillips and others to the board, given the crucial role that Transnet plays in the economy of the country? Thank you, House Chair. Thank you, Honorable Jim. Thank you very much for, for the question. Uh, indeed, I mean, we really need to ensure that the logistics sector is resolved soonest. We are also looking at other options uh, other than just dependent on the fiscals, but the money that was allocated by the Minister of Finance in the recent budget towards Transnet will help a lot in now beginning to push maintenance, repairs, and replacement, uh, because a lot of vandalization and theft has taken place in a number of uh, aspects uh, there. And we'll then definitely use it to that maximality and ensure that the ports are operating maximally. And one, if we look at uh, uh, Mozambique and, and Namibia, they've been roped in the private sector. Green Road, our own South African company, is operating in Maputo. And all the trucks are now diverting from our ports to go there. It's, it's something that is not a very good for an economy of our size. So we'll definitely be ensuring, therefore, that we optimize uh, those ports and then we really maintain and we bring in the new equipment because one of the issues that kill Transnet is old equipment mm -hmm. that are very slow and, and we're also beginning to look at that target. So the management of Transnet is going to be focusing in a, with the money that is now starting to flow in on the 1st of April. They will be definitely be rolling that money to ensure that uh, indeed our ports uh, operate optimally. And where definitely we need to have concessions to also allow for the concessions, mm -hmm. as they did in Mozambique, as they are doing in Namibia, we could do so. But the infrastructure will remain 100% state-owned. And then the concession will come in for 25 years or 30 years, leave the infrastructure after the return of the investment to allow for the modification and modernization of our infrastructure mm -hmm. so that the logistics can then perform and not affect the economy as it did. Thank you. Thank you.